I knew him as soulless. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fae. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him, and that's where you come in. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Ned Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know is, is the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. 
All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Go on then! Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Now, get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Hardy, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Neb to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Rook, you're with the Shadow Dragons. I figured you'd know Minrathus better than I do. Sure, but Minrathus is huge. And this is nowhere near my neighborhood. I can try. Don't worry. Scouting's my specialty. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. <laughs> Demon. Here they come.
Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Patch yourselves up. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Bunch of cultists, aren't they? Used to fight these assholes every day in the Shadow Dragons. Glad you kept up practice. Worst timing? Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Both of you have done some work for the Shadow Dragons. Isn't that a coincidence? Some old friends said if I was working in Tevinter, the Shadow Dragons are worth trusting. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, 
but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the Veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. Solus too. Looks like the Venatori also found it, and then demons found them. This is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Manrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous.
Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Sola said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. Sounds like that opened something below. Then let's have a look. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Try not to think about it.
Let's get to Solus. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. be healed by drowning the world in demons i have taken precautions to minimize the damage varic minimize them people are dying right now you need to listen He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Hardy. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it.
tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! I'm with you! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Yeah. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Thanks to me, I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. 
I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. How bad are we talking here? Their power outstripped my own even before they embraced the corruption of the Blight. But you did imprison them. Through trickery. I also had a ritual dagger of pure Lyrian, and a network of mirrors to take me from the lighthouse across the world. I don't have either of those. Well then, I expect you will be busy. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? You need to listen. You want me to take the shot? No! you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay, but I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse, and it'd take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Nev got everyone out, by the skin of her teeth mostly. And before you start worrying, Harding will be fine. She's made of sterner stuff than either one of us. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like the time you disobeyed orders while taking down that venatory slavery ring. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Alfred. No, it's, it's fine. I was just going to stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Alluvian took us to the Fade. A place where dreams come from, so... that. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. <laughs>